Harry Potter Series 2 is out on Brickset. Brickset just revealed it today, actually. Which is pretty cool. So just go on Brickset and they will reveal it. Um, which they'll have Harry Potter Series 2, which is so cool. So, unfortunately, there's only 16 figures. At the very least, include 20, but whatever. Because usually, theme series would include 20 minifigures, but whatever. It's still a really good series. Has Harry, Dumbledore, Hermione, and here are the accessories. Harry has a potions book. Dumbledore has a phoenix. Hermione Granger with butterbeer glass. Ron Weasley with butterbeer glass. Luna in her Gryffindor outfit. Grip Hook with a sword of Gryffindor and key. Lily and James Potter, Ginny, Fred, and George. And here are the accessories. I guess you could tell which one is which just by looking at the accessories because they look very similar. Bellatrix, Kingsley, Moni Myrtle, and Professor Sprout, and Neville. Here's the series as a whole. Here's the checklist. Unfortunately, no Fantastic Beasts this time, but still a really cool series. So... We're going to go ahead and ex just express a like, quick thoughts on this. So for Harry, it I think it's Order of the Phoenix or Half-Blood Prince. I don't know, because that torso looks very similar to his Order of the Phoenix outfit. I'm not sure. I think, no, I think that is Half-Blood Prince, because it has the Book of the Half-Blood Prince, the Potions book. And I really like the torso and legs. It's very nice and detailed. Um, the overall minifigure itself is really cool. It does suck that the hairpiece isn't new or anything but i guess it's accurate to him and i think that's a new face with a shocked look for dumbledore it's really cool i really love this little new phoenix piece and the hat as well is really cool i don't know why it's white though because in the movies and even in the other dumbledores are gray i don't know it's just a weird inconsistency but still cool figure i like how it's a bit different from the great hall version and I like how they have a new mold for his phoenix. It's really cool. And I think that's a new face print. Or at least I hope it is. Hermione is next. It's really cool. Um, again, not a, diff uh, not a new hair piece. But really nice new glass piece for that drink. Um, nice casual outfit. Which all three of them are in the casual outfit. Um, really cool. I hope that's a new face print. For Ron, it's... Pretty cool as well. I do wish they have changed up the accessory just a little bit with the butterbeer glass because Hermione does have the same one. But still, nice and detailed with really cool side arm printing as well. And I like the details on the jeans. And the torso is also really cool. And again, the hairpiece isn't new. They have been using that, I think, with the 2010 Harry Potter sets. So nothing new there. New face print, I think, as well. Luna has her casual outfit as well um, from, I believe, Half-Blood Prince as well, I think, with her Gryffindor costume. It's a cool figure. I hope that, I think that is a new face print. I hope they will include it. It does suck, though, that her only accessory is a wand, but I guess they might put more time and effort um, to make the lion piece. The grip hook may figure from the Gringotts Goblin, or from the Gringotts Bank. It's really cool. I like the sword of Gryffindor. I'm not sure if it's new. I think that looks something from the Lego Vikings theme. But I don't know. I might be wrong about that. I think that's a new hair, like, elf type looking combo. I think that is. That's most likely new. And the key is just the same key piece. And I like how there is side arm printing. But not the most interesting minifigure out there. But I like the sword of Gryffindor, which is super, super cool. Hope it's a new mold. Um, so, for James, or sorry, for Lily and James Potter, they're both, again, in casual outfits. I think the better version is probably for James, because he actually includes a really cool scarf piece. Um, but don't get me wrong, these are all really awesome figures, and I'm, I hope there's printing on those legs. It, it just must be, like, black, so it's a bit harder to see. The baby Harry is also really cute. <laughs> it's so cute. I really like the use of the new scarf piece from Ninjago sets. And I like how they finally reprint it. And I like also the portrait. I think they captured him really well with the sideburns as well. For Ginny, it's really cool. I hope that's a new little, I guess, was that ice cream cup? I hope it is. And I think that's also a new hair piece. New face print as well, just really nice. 
I wonder if that is like one whole piece or if it's just a separate piece. I hope the goblet is like a separate piece because that would be really useful. Um, the minifigure itself is really cool as well. I really like the, what is that, the casual clothing as well. I think that might be either half, I think it might be half blood prints. Um, the two Weasleys, the two Weasley brothers, Fred and George. I don't know which one is which. I think this one is Fred and this one's George. Um, I do wish that they gave a different accessory for Fred because um, his suitcase piece is also the same from Newt and S Jacob in Series 1 for Harry Potter. So, I don't know. But uh, next figure, I really hope that is a diff. Fred, both Fred and George have different face prints, and they're not just swapped around like with their alternate face, even though they are twins. I just wish they gave like a different expression. I hope they do that. And I like how they give a bit of variation with the coats as well, with one closed and one opened. And for George, has a really cool Marauder's map, which is really nice. So just a bit of variation right there. Both incredible figures to get. I like the fact that they even, like, just, just a bit of variation with it closed and opened. That's already a good figure right there. Bellatrix, I don't really care for. It's an okay figure, not really the best, but... I guess it's a cool figure, but not really in my taste. Cool hairpiece, though. Yeah. Kingsley is another really cool figure from Ministry of Magic. That would really go well with Minister Fudge. I hope they make more Ministry of Magic figures. Like, I don't know, maybe make a Percy minifigure. I don't know, that would be cool. But, yeah, overall, it's a really cool figure. Um, it is kind of disappointing that his accessory honestly sucks with just a wand and the... A really common broom looking piece they should have changed it up a bit like they should really upgrade that broom piece to have those little what are those those like things that stick out on the side like that i don't know it's just i don't know just a bit disappointing with the accessories but the minifigure itself is really nice i think they captured the figure really well i think that's like a new coat piece or maybe that's just the same with garmadons but i think that's a new one and i like the purple on it it really matches well morning myrtle is really cool um, I really like her accessory with, um, what's that, Tom Riddle's Diary, but this time it's not damaged, which is good. I like that. I like a bit of variation there. And I think, I'm not sure if that's Glow in the Dark, if it is. I don't know if I really like Glow in the Dark, because Morning Myrtle is more of blue than green, which usually Glow in the Dark is sort of greenish, so I hope it's not. Um, Professor Sprout is really cool as well. And that's actually a new hair hat combo. Um, not the most interesting out there, but I do like the torso and legs. They're really nice. The accessory, I don't really care for either, which is just another Mandrake. Neville, um, I don't really, I don't know. It's kind of disappointing. Like, it's like, like I wish he, it's very similar to Hermione's character from series one of Harry Potter. This one looks so similar. They could have given a bit of variation, like I said. Like, they could have done the same thing with that they do with Fred and George. Like, they could have done it with, like, ro without the robes. And just, like, that, I guess, what is this? They have, like, just that white polo shirt. They could have just done that. And I, the book piece is also really cool. Um, I think that's from Prisoner of Azkaban. But, yeah, overall, I think they should have just changed up the figure's torso and legs a bit. So, not really the best choice out there. But, so, this is actually all of the figures, which is only 16, which kind of sucks. Because the original series had 22, which... So, yeah, I wish they included, um, I guess, more better minifigures. Like, I do wish that they upgraded Neville a bit, gave a new broom for Kingsley... Gave different accessories for both Ron and Hermione. But yeah, still a really nice figure selection overall. Do wish they included Fantastic Beast figures. Like, they could have, this would have been an opportunity. Like, at the very least, add 20 minifigures. Like, I don't know, they could have included, like, Theseus or Lita Lestrange or, like, Nagini in her human form. I don't know, just a couple minifigures from Fantastic Beast that they could have included. But still, overall, really awesome series. Do it is a bit disappointing that some of them have like the same accessories and some just look very, I don't know, it's just like very similar to other figures. So I want to know what you guys think. Is this better than series one? Who knows? So 
when this comes out, I'll be sure to open, I'll do an opening about it. But, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to smash like and subscribe, because I do post every single day. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace out.